Hello friends, I'm Jada Eubank. I am back with another Hip Kit Club layout using the May 2023 kits. And today I am playing with the June 2023 mood board challenge that is posted on the Hip Kit Club Facebook group. Now the photo that I'm mostly attracted to is this one in the center bottom with this circle of daisies. I love the texture and I kind of imagined it as a base for my photos. I'm also going to pull in the blue and yellow flowers of the two photos in the upper right corner, or blue and yellow colors of the two photos in the upper right corner of the mood board challenge. So here I have two photos of my puppy. This is Ellie. She is the naughtiest little pup in the world, but she is super cute. <laughs> and so today my layout is going to be all about this cute little naughty pup. So I've gone ahead and flipped through the papers to see which papers I wanted to work with. And of course I picked out the blue and yellow papers. I'm going to be using this paper called Daisy Chain as my background. And then I'm using again that daisy circle as my inspiration. Now instead of creating a circle of daisies, I wanted to try using this beautiful new die that was released in May called the Crochet Texture Die. So instead of a circle, I'm going to be creating a square with four of these die cuts. And I just die cut these out of some white cardstock. I love the subtle texture that it adds and it's almost like a tonal texture that that's happening on this page. These photos that I've printed of my dog are both three by four. I did trim them down slightly so that they're two and seven eighths inches wide. So I'm going to mat those on some white cardstock with the one sixteenth edge all the way around. And then I'm going to double mat them again on that dark yellow daisy paper. Now that dark yellow is very similar to the card stocks that are um, released this month, but it's a slightly smaller scale daisy print and it's a darker yellow than the one in the cardstock pack. So the name of this paper is called Right Here Right Now. So I will double mat these photos with that right here right now and then I'm going to just kind of overlap them and kind of skew them slightly and place them side by side. I will also use the back side of that paper which has a really pretty lilac color uh, to add a strip of um, like a base strip to go underneath those photos layer later. But right now I'm going to turn my attention over to the title. Now I love all the alphabets that are in the kits each month and this time I'm going to combine them again. There is this grape colored script font that is in the embellishment kit. And then there are these darling multicolored foam stickers that are in the main kit. So the title I want to use is don't let this innocent face fool you because she is, she looks like the cutest, sweetest little thing. And I've owned dogs all my life. I've had Scottish Terriers when I was young, which are notoriously uh, known for being naughty. But this little pup, this little, you know, mutt pup of mine, designer mutt, is, <laughs> is quite the little stinker. She is darling, don't get me wrong, I adore her. I don't wanna sound like I don't love her, but she is a little stinker. She likes to run off a lot. She, re she pretends she doesn't know her name. She doesn't like to be cuddled, but she is a licker. She'll just lick a lick a lick a lick you. So she is just a funny, funny pup. But we adore her. She's super silly. So I've used the multicolored foam stickers here along with those script stickers to spell out my title. Now the two words fool you at the end of the title um, kind of overlap that crochet texture. And while I'm adding this strip, again, this is from the right here, right now paper, the same paper with that yellow daisy pattern. Um, while I'm adding this, I'm thinking about how I can help the, those two words fool you stand out a bit better in the title. So I'll show you what I end up doing with that. Now I am inking everything with a light gray ink. That's just something I like to do. Uh, you know, some people like to ink, some people don't. I like the slight shadow effect that it adds to papers, especially with the lighter papers. I feel like it helps it to stand out a little bit. Here's where I'm pointing to that full you um, script words on the end of my title, kind of saying, okay, what, what am I gonna do here? So as I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna turn my attention over to the embellishment die cuts. There's two packs of uh, die cuts that look very similar. There's one in the main kit that has florals and lots of fun icons, and then there's one in the embellishment kit. The ones I'm working with here are all the florals from the embellishment kit. So I'm going to add just some florals around the page. I'm gonna add a few around the title just to call your attention to that. I'll actually add another green leaf to the right of the title uh, just to help that stand out a little bit more. And then I'm going to add a floral across the bottom of those two photos.
photos so that you have a bit of a visual triangle of flowers going around the page. Now what I decided to do to help these script letters stand out a little bit more is to bring in some clouds. This month there were a cloud die set that was released and they are so cute. They have little dots all around the edge, kind of like a stitching dot all around the edge of these clouds. Super, super cute. But my very favorite thing about these clouds that you don't find very often that I want to point out is that they have a flat bottom to them. Now, why is this helpful? I like this because you could add them across the top of your layout or your photos. You know, usually clouds go at the top of a page just because you're thinking about, you know, the sky is usually at the top of a picture, so to speak. And so I love that flat bottom of those clouds because they don't obstruct things below them where you have the curves kind of overlapping. The nice straight edge comes in handy. I know that sounds silly, but it's actually really true. For example, like this little one I'm placing above the innocent face words, um, I can add it just right there across the top and the flat edge, you know, snuggles right up nicely against that, those title words. So here I've layered together two of those clouds and then I'm adding back those script words full you on top of them and the solid white color of those clouds just helps to you know help them stand out a little bit more against that crochet texture and then of course I added in a few more of those clouds just for a fun springy look all right so here I'm going to go ahead and start adhering down the flowers I'm mostly adhering them flat to the page I do pop up that second daisy to the left of the title and then I will pop up that longer swag of flowers that I placed underneath the um, two photos now I'm just using thin foam tape I prefer to use the thinner foam because I can control the depth of the items that I add to my page and also so I don't add a ton of bulk to my layouts. I love to have the dimension of foam tape but of course I don't want it to be so puffy in my album that I can only fit like five layouts in there. You know what I mean. You you know you know what I'm saying. All right so I added a tab die cut to the top of the second photo and now I'm going through the embellishment die cuts again to see if there's anything else I'd like to add. I did pull out a mint circle a die cut that you can see there tucked behind the second photo on the right edge and now I'm turning my attention over to the die cuts from the main kit so all of the main kit embellishments are on the left of the screen and all of the embellishment kit ones are on the right if that helps you uh, to, you know to keep track of things if you have these two kits and you're trying to uh, replicate this layout so I did pull out a couple of the butterflies thinking I might add those to the left edge of the photo I don't end up using them but I do find a mint uh, phrase that says sunshine and flowers make me happy and I added that to the left of the mint or the uh, floral swag the reason I did that is because I have that tab die cut that's in mint color I added that mint circle under the right edge of the second photo and so I wanted a third mint element just to create a visual triangle of that color around the page. Here's where I'm trying out those butterflies again, but I actually just, they actually look really cute, but I actually decide to leave them off because I'm going to add my journaling over to the left side of the page. I'm looking through the puffy stickers to think you know, to see if there's something my, I might add. Um, because this is about my naughty little pup, you know, a lot of these positive words <laughs> actually don't go with it for this topic. So there was a little phrase that said laugh that I thought I might put on the tab. I decided to leave it off. Um, and then I will go back to those later. I did add the purple bird from the main die cuts up above the title. I like how it kind of calls attention to that. And now I'm adding a few puffy stickers to build out this floral swag die cut along the bottom. I just added a little daisy and then two branches and I really like the texture difference that that gives to that embellishment cluster down here. Now these epoxy dots are so cute. I thought I might use those along you know to sprinkle around the page but instead I went back over to the main kit and decided to add in these silver foam hearts. I just love the sparkle that they add and I haven't tried them out yet so I, I liked that they were a little bit more subtle and allowed the colors to of everything else to kind of pop to the front and call your you know capture your attention for this layout all right, so here is where I'm just zooming in and adding a bit of journaling. Now, um, I do need to add more journaling about why this pup is so naughty. I might add a tag or maybe some pull-out journaling across the back, um, but she is a sweetheart. We adore her, and we are so happy to have her. We have two dogs, two cats. We kind of call our house Noah's Ark around here because we do love animals. Anyway, this is the May 2023 kits using the main kit, the embellishment kit, and then the crochet tag 
texture dye and the clouds dyes. I hope you enjoyed watching this page come together. Come play along with us with the June challenge this month. You have until June 29th to submit your page in the group to, for your chance to win a $25 gift certificate to the Hip Kit Club store. All right, guys, my name's Jana Hubing for Hip Kit Club. We'll see you next time.